Do you want aimbot in your maps just like this? Watch them to the end to find out how. First, place down the control third person device and then copy these settings. First, I'll show you how to make aimbot. Then I'll show you different ways you can give players aimbot if you don't want players to have aimbot from the very start of the game. So, to make the aimbot itself, place down the control third person device then copy these settings. Target retention duration, zero. Targeting distance, 9901, which is the max. Targeting distance when aiming, also 9901, which is the max. Targeting angle, 90 degrees. Targeting angle when aiming, 90 degrees. And require target line of sight off. Now, if you don't want players to have aimbot from the very start of the game, go back into the control third person device, and in all options, put add to players on start to off. The two examples I'll show you on how to give players aimbot when they do something is by them pressing a button to give them aimbot and by them walking into a certain zone using the mutator zone device. So first for a button, you can go in all options and change if there's a trigger sound or a delay or interaction text, stuff like that. But what you need for the aimbot is to go in events and put on interact, send event to control, third person, add to. And that's how you do it for a person pressing a button and then they'll game aimbot. Make sure you have add to players on start to off if you're doing this with a button or something like that. Then for them running into a zone, place down a mutator zone device and again in all options you can change how this looks by changing the width, depth and height so you can change how big the zone is. But make sure you put affix creatures to no, affix guard to no, enable vfx to disabled unless you want players to see where they have to run to get the aimbot and then allow weapon fire, make sure this is on. Then, just like the button, go to events and put on player entering zone, send event to control third person device, add to. And then if you want this zone to just be where aimbot is allowed, you can put on player entering zone, remove from. This makes sure that just where this mutator zone device is, is the only place in the whole map where aimbot's allowed. Then just press OK. And again, make sure if you're doing this, you don't want players to have it from start, make sure add to players on start setting is off. If you're making them get it from a button or something like that. And that's how you make aimbot in Fortnite Creative. If this video helped, comment for what type of tutorial you want next, and press the video on screen now to see how to make any type of map to add this to.